What's up, Internet? It's me, Donovan, Account Resurrected, formerly here in the light of day. How the fuck you guys doing? I just uh, was sitting here this morning doing my regular routine and shit, you know, I'm drinking coffee and smoking a bunch of cigarettes and decided to pop on the Alex Jones show. I do that from time to time because it's... Uh, it's entertaining, and, and before you get mad at me and talk about how, you know, Alex Jones this and Alex Jones that, I'm probably going there with this video, so don't turn me off just yet. I just fucking listen to it because, you know, I, fuck, I don't even know why I listen to it anymore. It's just, you know, whether you like him or hate him or whatever, you can't help but, like, uh, occasionally, like, tune in or see his videos or whatever as you're you're going through life trying to uncover the mystery of how we got this fucked and and uh, what to do next and you know those people out there looking for you know answers to uh, the ancient mysteries and the ancient questions and everything else are inevitably going to come across Alex Jones and you know for the most part most people are like him or hate him instantaneously I was one of the unfortunate people who actually liked him because I saw him uh, do his uh, infiltration of Bohemian Grove which I found to be quite fascinating especially considered I uh, considering I hadn't heard of Bohemian Grove at the time and uh, had no idea about these things this is probably right around the time I had my my awakening as you would call it in 2006 um, but man, I mean, I can't, I can't help but just, you know, notice how much more he sucks every day that goes by. Like, uh, it used to be that there was a couple red flags like, oh, well, there are these people who don't like him or there's this or that or whatever, you know, but hold on. But it's fucking, you know, as time goes by, um, he just gets worse and worse and worse. Um, I've been pretty much a, you know, a firm believer for quite some time now that Alex Jones is, you know, not what he appears to be, um, or maybe he's exactly what he appears to be. He's just not what he says he is. You know, he likes to spend a lot of time talking about himself and how he's not this and he's not that, you know, he's not a hero and, you know, everyone should be doing these things. And, you know, those are all the right things to say. I mean, fuck, if you're trying to live a life where you're not completely dominated by your own ego, you're going to, you know, try to be humble and try to not, you know, aggrandize yourself every two seconds. But, you know, you get that impression when Alex Jones does that, that he's not really that, you know, he actually does really relish in all of his notoriety and um, the growing of his operation. Uh, you can't help but get that impression. But, um, you know, at first, the first thing that really set me off about Alex, because, you know, I used to defend him quite a bit, but, you know, the first red flag was his attacks on uh, on William Cooper, Bill Cooper, whatever you want to call it. You know, he died um, in 2001, rest in peace. But um, the thing that really turned me off about Alex was his incessant attacks on Bill Cooper. Um Bill Cooper is way more rounded of an individual. He seems to me much more intelligent. Um, Alex Jones does read a lot of books and he's been doing this shit so long. Yes, he does have a wealth of knowledge on the subject. However, this you know information kind of pops on his lap versus you know Bill Cooper was the man who actually did research, actually read all the books. He had the information and disseminated it. He's not disseminating other people's information and taking credit for it or acting like uh, the, the lead emperor of anything truth when in reality, he's nothing, you know, Alex Jones is nothing but a fucking fear monger. Or at least that's why I used to think. I used to think that he just, uh, he's just a scared man and fucking, uh, you know, all these, all this different information coming his way has caused him to become paranoid and he's just in a fear-based style mentality. But I got to tell you, you know, the more, the more I pay attention to Alex, the more it seems to be a little bit more sinister than that. And, you know, I want to get, you know, hear you guys' opinions and thoughts and stuff like that. But, um, I mean, he had a, what was this guy's name? Bill Ayers or whatever on the other day. And, uh, you know, he's selling this guy off as the mastermind behind the Obama administration, the evil administration, which, 
you know, arguably every fucking administration in my whole life has been fucked up. So, you know, Obama is nothing new. You got to give Alex credit for just consistently attacking every fucking president that ever comes along. You know what I mean? At least he's consistent there. And you can't say that, oh, well, this person's this and, you know, or that he's taking sides because a lot of people like to say he's just this crazy conservative guy. And really, he is a fucking crazy conservative guy. And um, he does, you know, make little things, you know, make little comments about the left, about how, no, he doesn't judge. He's nonpartisan and all this shit. But in reality, um, he's ta he spends a lot of time talking shit about the left. He spends a lot of time talking shit about people who are into any kind of alternative theory that wasn't um, – that Alex Jones can't take credit for. And he's a big fucking hypocrite. I mean, I, I can't even tell you the amount of times he'll say one thing like, my show is not about aliens and extraterrestrials and blah, blah. And literally a day later, he'll be saying fucking, hey, check this out. This is Prometheus. This is the story about, you know, extraterrestrial, you know, genetic manipulation of the human DNA and da, 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 da. I mean, the guy is so fucking full of shit. And with this interview with Bill Ayers, it was like, uh, here's this guy who comes on here and maybe he is full of shit. Maybe, maybe he does know a little bit more than he's letting on, but Alex almost won't even let the fucking guy talk. And what's even worse about that is he's actually like talking down to him and, uh, you know, calling him, you know, grand this and grand that. And he's being very sarcastic. And I got to tell you guys who are still watching Alex Jones, you know, the whole point of this video is you're not doing yourself or any of us any favors by supporting this fucking machine anymore. This machine is now part of the fucking machine. If you haven't figured it out yet, it's all about advertising dollars. It's all about profits. It's all about, you know, just... You know, whatever, it's not, it's no longer about taking risks and saying the uncomfortable things that no one wants to say. Um, obviously, anyone who's not part of the mainstream media, it's easy enough for them to do that. I mean, the mainstream media is so ridiculous at this point. I mean, half of the shit isn't even real. It's just, um, Fake. I mean, it's literally fake news stories. I mean, almost any fucking news story that comes out either doesn't mean anything or is completely fucking fake. Occasionally something real happens. And then when you start researching this real thing, you find out there is other shit going on behind the scenes. It's hard. Sometimes I wonder if any of us are doing any of this shit. You know what I mean? Like, I know occasionally you get some drugged out fucking people and they'll rob stuff. Got gangs shooting each other from time to time. But I mean, aside from that, all these fucking mass shootings, all this other stuff that's going on. It's almost like every single one of them is bullshit. And, uh, you know, and Alex is full of shit. And the way he treats his guests is bullshit. If I had Bill Ayers, you know, as a guest, which I probably never would, I'll never get the notoriety that Alex Jones does because only fucking, uh, you know, only um, psychopaths, sociopaths even get in those kind of positions that he's in anyway because he has decided – uh, to jeopardize his own morals or his supposed morals um, to reach a grander audience. And the truth is, um, if you're stuck listening to him, you might as well be stuck listening to the media because you're just going to get another version of bullshit. Um, the more you research everything, the more you realize that there's multiple sides to these stories. Um, and... There's a grain of truth in all these different narratives, but if you're listening to people like Alex Jones, it's only going to lead you down a path of ignorance, and it's going to lead you down a closed-minded path of fear, fear-based mentality, and lower vibration, which is thusly going to cause you to either gain mass amounts of anxiety, depression, alienation, I mean, isolation, I mean, you know, all these negative things are a result of comp constantly subjecting yourself to someone's message like this. Is this the kind of person you want to represent your voice, your voice of wanting to know truth, just for disclosure, for just to have an honest debate, like a true democracy? Um, you know, is this the representative that we have now decided to make the leader of the pack? I mean... This guy makes everybody look bad. And the truth is there's more information than there ever was in, you know, the history of mankind to prove some of these theories, to prove that there, you know, there is a fucking Illuminati. There is a new world order. There is, 
secret societies. There's all these things. There's dark occultists in the top positions of power in the world. And some of the people, the top leadership in the world use occultists. Um, I mean, there. It, the funny thing is, is the further you go down the rabbit hole, the more you find out that shit's even crazier than ever, you ever thought it was. But um, you've constantly got these people there misdirecting you, misdirecting your energy and um, misdirecting the not only the narrative, but the direction that these conversations could go. Um, how dare him get these people on there? Like he's interviewed uh, one of the uh, the Rothschild sons. I mean, he's interviewed uh, heirs. He's, he interviews all these people. Um, he had that interview with Pierce Morgan. And people, you know, some Alex Jones fans really love that interview. I was disgusted by the interview. Um, there is no victory won there other than him making everyone who questions this shit look like complete idiots. He looks like a fucking fat fucking buffoon. You're a fat, dumb, ignorant, just annoyingly fucking negative piece of shit. You know what I mean? And you're a fucking liar. And you took credit for 9-11 when we all, for, you know, disclosing that events would occur, uh, which transpired in the 9-11 you know, on September 11th of 2001 and shit, when we all know it wasn't you. We fucking know, don't we, Alex? You fucking liar. You're a fucking liar and you're a dick. And if you want anyone to fucking respect you, then don't act like a fucking buffoon. You're like a fucking joke. And people are listening to your fucking joke and believing it like it's a fact. You fucking idiot. You're a dumb... Man... Fuck, dude, there is not enough negative shit I can say about this guy. The fact that, you know, you've got all these people waking up and they're, you know, they're defenseless, you know, mentally they're in this, they're in this state of vulnerable, vulnerability and here you are, you know, to direct them into this completely ridiculous direction, you know, and this completely ridiculous narrative with your ignorant thoughts and the dumb shit you say. I mean, he talks shit about weed. He talks shit, you know, he's calling people communist. Like, he, he's just, everything he fucking says when you really sit down and pay attention to it is retarded. Once in a while, accidentally, a nugget of fucking truth pops out of there. But Alex isn't responsible for that truth. And if it wasn't beneficial for him to talk about it, he wouldn't. And so I just wanted to make this video for you, those of you who are Alex Jones fans. Give it a second look. Don't listen to me. Just start listening to what I'm saying. Listening, listen to how he's representing the people. Listen to how he's trying to represent the truth movement. The truth movement's going to die and people like Alex Jones are going to fucking kill it. They've almost killed it for me, but instead I'd rather make videos about the fact that there are people who are intelligent, who are trying to make a difference, who are trying to make change, and there are a, there's a growing number of people who are perfectly fine with almost anyone assuming that responsibility than Alex Jones. In fact, the truth of the matter is, is a lot of these guys are fucking pawns, CIA pawns put in place so that you feel like you are represented in the movement and you no longer have to involve yourself in it. But I have news for you guys. You have to fucking involve yourself in it. If you don't, if you see someone like Alex Jones going out there and fighting a battle for you, don't pat yourself on the back. You're doing nothing but hurting yourself and everybody else. Love you guys. Bye.